The past few months have been a nightmare for the family of John Michael Hamar. He remains locked up in a Matamoros prison. His mother tells us in a cell no bigger than a closet, chained to his bed. All because he crossed the Los Indios Bridge with a hunting rifle on board his RV. The U.S. custom, the U.S. customs, okay? Yeah. That he was safer to go with the gun. Yeah, it was okay. No problem. Yeah. So this, uh, I, I called to the U.S. authorities to to tell him, you know, we don't know, you better check down there. That's misguided. Defense attorney Eddie Varon Levy tells Action for News via Skype that he has filed several injunctions on the Marines' behalf, but the next court case isn't expected until January. Levy says his client's American rights have been violated, and Hamar was not given a fair shot because his first attorney told him to plead guilty. I want him to hear. I want to cross-examine the Mexican custom guy who didn't read him his rights. And to say why he held him for five hours, and et cetera, et cetera, you know. I have many questions to ask him. Hamar was arrested because the barrel of his 1960 Sears rifle was too short. It was not loaded at the time he crossed into Mexico. That's the way. There was no soda. It wasn't modified by him at all. However, signs posted within the last mile before you reach the border crossing clearly indicate penalties by Mexican authorities if anyone is caught crossing a weapon. While he technically might have breached the law, let's not lose sight of that. In just, this is the most unjust case probably that I've been involved with in I don't know how long. And I will not rest in this case until I see John set free, one way or another. That, you can quote me on that. John is going to be set free. Hamar's family and Marine buddies are standing behind him even if they are a country away. They are putting pressure on the congressman and State Department to have the Marine freed. In Cameron County, Veronica Gallegos, Action 4 News.